Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA. I am joined today by Lauren Long of 3Tag. They are a industry leader who is uh, focused on scope three emissions and circularity. Lauren, it's great to have you. Thanks hey, for thank you. Us. It's great to be here. Excellent, excellent. Now, um, Lauren, you're going to be on a keynote panel tomorrow about how to avoid greenwashing. So tell us a little bit more about that panel or maybe a key takeaway you want people to have from that. You know, I think the, the key thing about greenwashing is that while there are people or companies, I should say, that, that intentionally misrepresent and they get found right. um, and there are consequences, but really, there's a lot of companies out there that I work with that are trying to do the right thing. They're trying to accurately measure and report. You know, we've got the CSRD um, here in Europe and the reporting that's coming with that. But the, 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 the key message that I want my panel to talk about is we need to do more. We can't rush to find, you know, I, I found this, um, you know, I, I reduced scope two completely. You know, I'm doing PPA. It's not it's not easy like that. You know, scope three is very hard. Uh, biodiversity, water use, and we need to, to do more. I think also as the the home of some of the most technologically advanced companies in the world, you know, we underpin technology, um, you know, and that's what the book is about. And then we find out we're not nearly as advanced as some other industries when it comes to this topic. Right. There's so much still left to be done. I think everybody is trying to figure out what those measures are, what they look like. But I think the important thing is we're here. We're having the conversations, right? right. We're, yeah, you're doing what you can. And you're a thought leader in this space for sure. You're going to be contributing to Greener Data Volume 2. So we're super excited about that. I this, am too. Yeah, it's going to be great. So this is a book that um, JSA, we put it out um, originally last year. We're going to be doing a Volume 2 in 2024. And so Lauren is an author. And we would love to hear a little bit more about your your chapter and what you're going to be writing about. So uh, the theme of my chapter is basically it's complicated. <laughs> it's, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to touch on several parts of the sustainability discussion, starting with scope three. It's complicated. And, and I think we also need to all recognize and be honest that the methods that we have right now for measuring aren't that accurate. It's the best we have right now, but we need to con continue pushing more. Um, you know, another one is, I, I kind of touched on it, PPAs, right? Uh, power purchase agreements. Buying renewable energy and using renewable energy is two different things. And we need to keep driving forward to truly uh, reduce emissions. There was a report recently uh, by the Princeton Zero Group and they found that emissions aren't actually being reduced due to our current renewable energy um, initiative. So we need to look at that. I think the last one, and this is certainly where, where my focus is, is on circularity. We are very much a take, make, waste society. Um, recycling needs to come much further. Did you know, for example, that 50 million tons of e-waste annually are thrown away. I didn't know that, no. That's it gets, a shocking number. It gets yeah. worse than that. Yeah. Only 1% of critical raw materials are actually recycled every year. And scientists calculate that there is currently more gold in landfill than remaining in the earth. Yeah, wow. Now, when you look at the AI boom and the continuation of technology, all those critical raw materials are needed. And we need to make sure they come back. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. It sounds like yeah. it's going to be a great chapter. Maybe not all of the answers right now, but again, just continuing the conversation, figuring it out, right. finding the measures. Yeah, that's excellent. We're looking forward to reading it and we hope everybody else reads it when it comes out on Earth Day 2024. Um, and then finally, I want to talk a little bit more about 3Tag. So you guys uh, were recently founded. Tell us right. a little bit more about the founding. What, what is 3Tag's mission? We'd love to hear about it. So so 3TAG at its core is a, a persistent, dynamic, digital product passport, um, a digitized LCA, but with a lot more information around circularity, critical raw materials. And the idea is to start tracking um, 
raw materials, um, embodied carbon, starting from extraction to the component manufacture to the asset assembly, and then throughout its whole life cycle, all the way to the end to recycling, to make sure that we are getting everything back. And it's also to underpin and, and hopefully support uh, more accurate scope three uh, reporting and calculations. It allows for that embodied carbon to move throughout the life cycle so that now there's a governance to it. Um, and it's also could be the, the foundation for um, better regulation and control around that so that we can start reducing, especially the, the, the take and the make parts of take, make waste. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it sounds like you're going to be a big uh, thought leader in the space of figuring out what the measurements actually do look like when it comes to circularity. So very interesting work that you're doing there thank with 3Tag. Yeah, absolutely. We hope so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything else that you want to let our viewers know before we No, it was a pleasure and, and I look forward to seeing the book and all the authors. Absolutely. We are too. Yeah, we can't wait. So everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and we hope you have a great rest of the event today. Thanks.